I'm going to show you how to do a basic 3D model for MV3D. Now, as you see here, I have a barrel model that I've already made, and let's just get rid of that. We're going to recreate that, but first we need to get rid of this cube. Now that that's gone, we should add a mesh. We want to add a UV sphere. I already have it at the right settings it needs to be, except let's take that up to 8. Okay, this is the basic shape we want for a low poly barrel. And with that, we need to switch to edit mode. And put it on face mode so we can select the individual faces. And just oh, put that in selection mode. Okay, there we go. Shift click all the faces you want to get rid of. In this case, it's going to be the top circle. And just hit delete and get rid of those. And do the same thing on the bottom. And make sure you hold shift. Okay, delete, faces, and this is going to be our basic shape that we're going to use to make the barrel. Okay, with this we could choose edge mode, and we're going to want to pick all of the inside edges of that hole we just made. Okay, until we get that. And once we do that, you want to hit S to scale it evenly. You can hit the scale button, um, but... You can hit the scale button on the left side of the screen, but that's going to be not giving the shape you want. Okay, then we want to move that down, and so you get a nice little inset edge there. And while these edges are still selected, uh, just making that a little bit thinner, while these edges are still selected, click on Face, Fill, and that will put a flat level layer between the edges. And you'll just do the same thing on the bottom. And I'm just going to repeat what I did there and make sure you have selection selected instead of the tool that I just used. We're just going to do the same thing, S to scale, and move. Let's just bring that down. All right, and fill that in. Okay, so now you have the basic shape of your barrel. And this is 90% finished. You have the entire model. That took about five, not even five minutes. That took two minutes. Okay, and to get the texture on there, we'll go down to the uh, materials map menu. Click on new. And down here next to base color, click on the little circle, and then image texture. With that, go over to open, and then navigate to your tile set. Yes, we aren't going to have to make our own texture for this. We're, we are going to use UV mapping to set the already existing tile set as a texture. Okay, and once that's set, it's now in place, and click on render mode, and you can see that the tile set is kind of overlaid over the barrel. So that's how you know you're on the right track. And for me, you can either click on the rendering tab up at the top, or you can just drag a new window over here, and up in the corner, Go to UV Editor. Alright, now we have the texture on the side, which is our tile set. So over here we need to click on Object Mode to make sure that everything's selected. And as you can see, it's just kind of reflecting the entire thing. And then we want to go into Edit Mode. And with this, if we hit UV Unwrap like right here, you can see on the left it has the entire thing. We don't really want to do that. We want to do this a little bit more smart. So what you do is we're just going to select all of the faces on this side. So we're going to do the top circular part of the barrel first. Okay, and with that You'll need to hit U, click on Unwrap, and now the map of the top of the barrel is overlaid over our texture. 
And what we want to do is we want to move that to the texture that we want. So S to resize it, to scale it, and middle mouse click to uh, move the move it around. Uh, G to move the overlay, and S to scale. And once we get to about where we want it, we are going to want to click on Transform to get it to about the right size to fit onto that. And as you can see on the right, it's being reflected onto the shape itself. It's kind of low quality, but you can get a general idea. And you'll just want to adjust that to exactly where you like it. And then when you're satisfied with where the texture falls, you can go to the next area. And you'll just do the same thing on the bottom. And you would also move that to the exact same spot. Now for here, we want to get the side of the barrel. So with that, we do the same thing. You unwrap, and you see it's overlaid on the side like this. Just select it all, and you can uh, res resize that. But if you notice, it's on its side, so you want to rotate that. And then just click and drag until you get it to about where it want, where you want it to be. Make sure it's Make sure it's the right side up, and then G to move it. You're going to need to scale that down a little bit more until it's about where you want it. Okay, and once you get it about where you want it, we click on Transform and just line it up right where you want it to be. Now in this, we want this to be a repeating pattern, so we don't want these curves. So we're, I'm just going to bring this in a little bit so that the pixels that are on the sides are just completely flat, so you don't get any curvature, and it will continue correctly that way. And to, you could do the same thing with each one of these panels, but we can make it a little bit easier. What we can do, is see, you know how all of these are identical? So we want them all to match the one that's highlighted. Now, what you want to do here, hang on, where is it? You want to go to Preferences and click on Add-ons. Okay, and it's not showing up on the recording, but what you're going to want to do is make sure, since it doesn't come with this by default for some reason, make sure you have an add-on called UV Magic. And if you don't, you can just click on the search and find it. Make sure that's installed and enabled. And when you do that, you can click U and get the copy-paste UV. Okay, just click on your active one, go down to Copy, and just hit Default. Okay, and for all of the panels that you want to have the same texture, just shift click all of them, hit you again, and then paste. And it's as simple as that. And you'll just do the same thing with the other panels. Copy the one that you want, shift click, etc., etc. And paste. I'll just do that two more times. And what this does is it copies the coordinates of that first panel to the um, the other panels, so you don't have to move the UV map. And since the faces are identical, it just makes it really simple. And there you go, there's your barrel. I know I didn't do the texture on the other side, but it's basically the same thing as the top. And then when you're done, and make sure that you always export to .obj, and with that file, you can, imp you can make sure that's in your models file in your uh, RPG Maker game folder, and then you can use it. One last thing, um, 
make sure that your object is sitting above the uh, the z-axis. And I'm having a hard time finding it over here. Uh, just hit N to open up the menu. And make sure... Let's just change the perspective real quick. Hit 1 to get this view. Make sure that it's setting on top of that red line, because if you don't do that, then your object is going to be sunk halfway into the floor. Okay, now it's set up, and there's your barrel. It's pretty much done.